everybody it's me Kimber here at the backyard horse enthusiast and today we're going to look into fencing and pastures 101 so here's what you're looking at here is my backyard I never waste an opportunity to enclose a piece of the yard so some of its pasture there's the upper one and some of it is my backyard why break out the lawnmower when you have horses and this is great luscious spring grass the horses have been acclimated to the grass um, since the end of March so they're they're used to it so this is our backyard and this is temporary I'm just letting them mow the lawn for me and then I'll roll up all the temporary fencing there are t-posts there and they'll stay but I will um, most likely I'll keep this electric fence tape up on the back side because that won't interfere with anything but everything else I'll, I'll roll back up what is this oh this is one of the other two enclosures or pastures so we have six enclosures and we have eight acres total so the reason we have six enclosures is because every day they're turned out on a different pasture and they get to graze for like six hours six to eight hours they get in each there's a side pasture there they get that this is not my pasture this is livestock fencing and it's smaller the boxes are smaller at the bottom so a horse can't get their feet stuck in them here's an electric plug-in fence charger we use a really big one it's like mega it's made for bulls this is a solar one. I have two of these as well. They're just on standby or if I want to put up a portable fence somewhere, we have a couple of these. Make sure you buy grounding rods. This is rebar. So we use rebar versus you can use copper rods too, but um, you, you could need up to four, four footers of these into the ground to keep it grounded. This is a four inch uh, electric tape. That's huge these are the step-ins and you can use wire or up to two inch tape with these step-ins i use a lot of these this is electric fence too and that's pvc posts that the wire goes through here is your copper grounding rods again you need grounding rods oh boy this is a no 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 never ever ever use barbed wire um unless you have five thousand acres and you know they're turned out with their cattle but Boy, you never want to have to clean up that mess when a horse gets injured in bar barbed wire. I've seen it. Not good. Again, another livestock panel. There's an electric fence wire at the top of that. Keeps the horses from going over the top of the fencing. Here's a PVC fencing. Very nice. Costs some money. You know, and it all depends on your budget. Okay, now we get into different poisonous plants and stuff and trees that you want to look out for on your property and keep your horses away from them. They are poisonous. Look them up. Keep them off your pasture. And that's it, folks. This is a really quick, like I said, Fencing 101. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time when we're going to bring you fly and manure management. Oh, boy. Okay, folks. We'll see you then.